Jonathan, what are you doing? I was practicing flipping crepes. Why? Oh, the French Club is hosting a, a crepe flipping competition in room 281 of Tuesday, February 2nd around 4.45 and I'm just practicing. I need to practice too. Débutèrent dans ses yeux un espoir merveilleux qui donne le présent. How everybody your name? Paige. Paige, how old are you? Ten. Everybody knows Paige. You'd, you'd go to our clinic and say Paige, but people will say Paige Patterson, of course. You know, she's quite unique. Paige is somebody that everybody in that clinic will remember for the rest of their lives. Hi, my name is Paige, and I'm six years old and I have leukemia. Soccer, basketball. I don't know how to walk normal. Just look how I walk just like this. Oh, I'll tell you, you try to suppress those memories sometimes, and they come back. You know, you five years almost now. Just seeing her changes, the, the, the chubbiness with the steroids, and then the, the losing the hair, which she actually had fun with, um, and then kind of seeing her get back to normal again. Quite a, quite, a, quite a memory now. When they told me that Paige had leukemia, of course, immediately I started crying, and I was in shock, and I started saying, no, it can't be leukemia, it can't be cancer, it's got to be, you know, something else. I knew that uh, Anne and Paige had gone to the clinic just to see what was making her so tired. The morning, or, or maybe at night, they thought their kid had, uh, you know, a flu. They thought their kid has a little bit of fever. And then a few hours later, they sit near me. I've never met them in my life, and I have to tell them, no, your child has cancer, has leukemia, and your child may die. My name is Paige Elizabeth Patterson. My birthday is October 1st, 2002. I just immediately broke down and, you know, started bawling and called my husband. And that, uh, after that, the life changes right there on the spot. They had taken Paige to the doctor after she had fallen asleep in my room and did some tests and found out that she had leukemia. It was heartbreaking. And therefore we need to find ways to cure everybody, not just, not just 95%. We got lucky when we told the when we went in. And they found out just early enough to 
treat it, because if we would have waited a little bit more longer, it, we couldn't have treated it and probably would have died. When they came back with the results, they said, you know, the good news, it, it is ALL. Then they had a course of action that they, they, they at least put some nice positivity into it. She had to be hospitalized many times and she had to get lots of chemotherapy. They get uh, the, the surgeries, the sedations, where they go to sleep. There's so much. You know, we would typically go down together, Ann and I, and we would play video games. The, the hospital visits, we watch a lot of movies. She's like, a new, new movie for today. Twilight. <laughs> the next day, Twilight. <laughs> the next day, Twilight. Kids should always go to school, should always do everything regularly as if they never had cancer. So that's one of my happiest memories of Paige. Uh, her mom did a video when she was taking her last couple pills. Hi, my name is Paige and today's my last day of chemo pills. So say bye bye to the suckers. It was just great. That was how Paige's attitude was. To me, Yes, it's great. We're treating a lot of kids, and it's phenomenal. It's very exciting. All done. But it's not enough. because we're not done at all. Please stand for the pledge. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible.